lyricist and you're welcome to the doctor I got more lines than designs of architecture when I rap I make your bar before the rabbi I rain more flows than the dots Got system bars to scrap, yo I got more bars than the prison Crescent me, I'm causing more chains than the season Spit more than 10 million pregnant women Yo, I'm a mouth of a god sent to a sapien I stay on my nose when I'm on my knees And when I speak, every single word becomes a decree I'm hot like I was born in a million degrees My style can make the polar regions to the freeze Nothing is new under the sun An old school creed, you know why? Cause you never seen a homie like me If any man be in Christ, the past is a disaster I don't spit the verse, I spit the hope Christ in me, you better listen to the mixture I got more memories than a picture More power than a scripture I'm a puzzle like a so you can ever love me Like it's love Nintendo 64 I don't spit rhymes, I spit God conversations I don't spit lines, I spit lyrical reactions This ain't a punchline, this a Christ fed blow Without God, home in the truth will laugh their throw I'm a new man with more news than a newspaper Without God, you messed up like the new nap I look up the hook, close the book And look and look at the book, how about could you go good, good, good I'm closer to God than a Siamese binding Got more skills than a Chinese army Shouldn't have had call, take my rappers and tour When I'm done I make your lyrics exactly like dinosaurs. Ah, might check you one, two, one, two. Like that, like check you one, two, one, two. Yeah, might check you one, two, one, two. Jesus, Jesus, one, two, one, two. Yeah, might check you one, two, one, two. I'm born again, I'm born again, one, two, one, two. Yeah, might check you one, two, one, two. There's a song that I wrote for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might check you one, two, one, two. Jesus, Jesus, one, two, one, two. Yeah, might check you one, two, one, two. I'm born again, I'm born again, one, two, one, two. Yeah, might check you one, two, one, two. MCs, MCs, one, two, one, two. Yeah, might. Check you what you gon' do. Might check you, might check you, yeah, yeah. I said, I don't spit the verse, I spit the whole chapter. Each line I drop us a size of Canada. I'm a man of a safe soul and a life of a redeemed man. Attention, yeah, my definition, I'm a rap general. I'm imperial, my style is ethereal. My flesh told to bury him. Go behind me, your leaders go, I'm ahead of them. My lyrics are first class research material. I'm a braver, secular as is coming to great, yeah. Put the stop, put the mover like a break bar. Seeing more wars than fate now. Who am I? I'm a rapper, the size of Iraq in this game. So I face trouble in the round table. I speak Christ in the bomb tables. My style Come at the storm table, rap constable and cast I'm all able. Give me the mic, the outcome see. I burn cables daily. I take out from the commander. I surrender whole wheel to the master. God chaser. No, you call me a god hustler. I seen more beef than a butcher. Listen, I'll show you to Christ my way. Cause Christ is the life, the truth, and the way. Yo, they got facts, I got the truth. So what you gonna tell me? I speed more trucks than the railway. I've been marked for death row to Christ the main lawyer. Can't save me now. I remain loyal. Since Adam, I've been marked to DC. The born again rap I should have been laden. Spokesman, you can Call me sports uncle. I gotta start like him as grandma chief. Talk no cool. Yo, face me. Or you wanna face me now, homie? You lose them tight like a shoe laces. Might check you one, two, one, two. Like that, like check you one, two, one, two. Yeah. Might check you one, two, one, two. Might check you, might check you one, two, one, two. Yeah. Might check you one, two, one, two. Jesus, Jesus, one, two, one, two. Yeah. Might check you what two, gon' do. My mama, my mama, my mama, my mama. Yeah. Might check you one, two, one, two. Might check you, might check you one, two, one, two. Yeah. Might check you what you gon' do. Jesus, Jesus, one, two, one. One, two, yeah, might check you one, two, one, two. And MCs, MCs, one, two, one, two, yeah. Might check you what you gon' do. One more time, let's go, my, 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 yeah. Might check you one, two, one, two. Might check you, might check you one, two, one, two, yeah. Might check you one, two, one, two. Jesus, Jesus, one, two, one, two, yeah. Might check you one, two, one, two. I wanna get, I wanna get one, two, one, two, yeah. Might check you what you gon' do. Might check you what you gon' do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah. Microphone testing. Yeah, 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 yeah. S to the P O. R K C. Kingdom my fans. Songs, roses, and crowns. Check, 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 check. Yeah. He said, rap the sister, Lord said. I never speak trash because my tongue's lead. Hungry generation, this is enough bread. Believe and leave and deny, you can't dead, yeah. This ain't rap, this is the Lord said. I never speak trash because my tongue's lead. Hungry generation, this is enough bread. Believe and leave and deny, you can't dead, yeah. This ain't rap, this is the Lord said. I never speak trash because my tongue's lead. Hungry generation, this is enough bread. Believe and leave and deny, you can't dead, yeah. This ain't rap, this is the Lord said. I never speak trash. Because my tongue's lead Hungry generation, this ain't enough bread Believe and leave, yeah, yeah Mic check it, mic check it, yeah, I contest There's only one king, nobody contest The man Jesus, you see my confess And when I grab the mic, you see my call first It brings life to the dead, it's like come forth And every word that he speaks brings come forth So, which other God wanna come first? They're like Arsenal, they just want to come forth But we don't rap for them, are we stupid? We drop heavyweight bars, we're so too big We're so dope on the sweat, we all do streets We're so sick on the sweat, we all pull pit I never take credit yeah, like I'm all ace And whenever the Lord speaks, show the smoke says Says, I flow on the pad, always Christ Jesus on the throne, all day This ain't rap, this is the Lord said I never speak trash because my tongue's lead Hungry generation, this is an old bread Believe and leave and deny, come dead, yeah This ain't rap, this is the Lord said We never speak trash because my tongue's lead Hungry generation, this is an old bread Believe and leave and deny, you come dead, yeah This ain't rap, this is the Lord said we never speak trash because my tongue's lead Hungry generation, this is enough bread Believe and leave and deny, come dead, yeah This ain't rap, this is the Lord said Never speak trash because my tongue's lead Hungry generation, this is enough bread Believe and leave, yeah Spokesman, you should go to What the Magana, my words about the building come up What the Madara, buy the truth and never sell it And not for a Kwandala, my flow's like a Govara From Kedi to Gwandara, Gafara Mada ukechi, you should go, Kegu Gafara Chiki suna yesu nekewe wote na Gafara Jesus, one that came from God down to Nazareth Yesu ba Nazareth, Iko ba Bangere Check out the wind, he's very vain Gigi ha, she uba ngeji Allah Kale muke te jingina, died on the cross Ha you also, ya shifida Faith in the Lord, banga skermu, wata girikiza Smokes father, ubanga yuma we so peace I think in Dunia Babu Yadi, Lyrical John the Baptist Demon say come balai Whenever here we can, we can like Papa Lati Lyrically, I'm free from like Palazzo Cross oil from the ground, not like Arago Jesus Christi, I take you sooner than another No matter what from UK, US, not to Kamazo Yes, we answer to him, we bring it to ya Boss of the bosses, the ruler of every ruler Messiah, the owner of everlasting, hallelujah Bread of life only never do be sue ya This ain't rap, this is the Lord said Whenever I never speak trash because my tongue's lead Hungry generation, this is an old bread Believe and leave and deny, calm dead, yeah This ain't rap, this is the Lord said We never speak trash because my tongue's lead And hungry generation, this is an old bread Believe and leave and deny, you calm dead, yeah This ain't rap, this is the Lord said We never speak trash because my tongue's lead Hungry generation, this is an old bread Believe and leave and deny, calm dead, yeah This ain't rap, this is the Lord said Never speak trash because my tongue's lead And hungry generation, this is an old bread Believe and live and deny Yo, Zamu Chasha, the Molo, had the Garaya, Agabarka, the Diana, the Kudi, had the Maria, the Barka Michao, the Mabama Tada Baya, is more than the cast, the Zuchia Muki about Tawa, Ubangit, go for the Aruf, the Kakabudi, so I am a Gitchi, I came and said as Obi, to talk about the Adam, the Mankara Yakoni, I asked the Chikabam, Obama Sari Gaya Kodi, Yao, the Hadden, Ebelizam of Hori, the Bamutawa, Allah, Kuanya, Jamana, Harshi, I do other Jawabi, Safa, the Rekoda Yoshi, look upon the Kasaki, Asama Yosamo Quenchi, Yesu, Christ, the Kenya Sarkin. Sarakuna, Gangamu, Chemaka, the Roba, the Aquatina, Almarca, Daddy Fier, the Harma Roman Zuma, Alpha, and Omega, Garcia Harma, the Furconzua, Yaude, Almasi, who Mushigo, the Abu, Ubangi, the Kay, the Red, the Ranako, and the Maku, Kama, the Aki Fier, the Harmaga, and Ambassador, Bamatata, Mukama, Mota, Mara Sabat, and Majora Mubangi, Taku Mukema Zaki, Sarkin Sarakuna, and Martaba Mukema Aki, Kama, the Kashuka, Nekawa Mukema Taki, Yabomuki, Achan, Eclis, Yad, the Chicken Taki, Ubangi, the Kaba, the Hikimo, Kununda Dawa, Ubamatata, Gawa, Kaka. Mukia Botawa, Lutunia, Marian Kakede Aka Sarara, Dukwande Chica, Muntosiawa and Adawa, Achika, and Mata Tare Samari, 
Zunubi babu jau na kama sara kela gari. Kalmar kasiya babu loka chinta mane. Bamo jada baya kulenganga raga bane. All rise, all hands up. Jesus the Christ, yes. Jesus the Christ, yes. Jesus the Christ, yes. All hands, all hands up. Salute. Jesus the Christ, yes. Salute. Jesus the Christ, yes. Salute. Jesus the Christ, yes. Salute. All rise, all hands up. Salute. Jesus the Christ, yes. Salute. He reign over all, yes. Salute. Yeah. Arise, O compatriot. Arise with compassion. This is the heart of a patriot. The faith of a patriot. This is another youth serving Christ. Yes, compassion. With my fist in the air, Kenya, Israel, I hail from. My hands in the air, Nigeria, Israel, I sail from. My hand on my chest, Jesus is whom I speak for. This is change, movement, the truth. Remember my weapon. What I see every day in the streets, keep telling my generation truth that they need help. You and I ought to know the solution is first to fall in God be before we even think self, self, no matter how. Good a man is beside the Lord Jesus. I swear he gonna need help. No apologies to you, nor your feelings. I'm just here. I'm just saying the solution. His name is Jesus Christ. Is what the world needs more than a good job. Is what we all need more than a good wife. Is what our home needs. With all respect, I swear he's what you all need. All rise, all hands up. Salute, Salute to the God who reigns over us. Yes. Salute. Salute to the Lord who rules over us. Yes. Salute, Salute to the Lord. Yeah. Jesus the Christ. Yes. Salute. Yeah. All rise, all hands up. Salute. Salute to the Lord who reigns over us. Yes. Salute. Salute to the Lord who reigns over us. Yes. Salute. Salute to the Lord. Yeah. Jesus the Christ. Yes. Salute. One more time. All rise, all hands up. Salute, Salute to the Lord who reigns over us. Yes. Salute. Salute to the Lord who rules over us. Yes. Salute, Salute to the Lord. Yeah. Jesus the Christ. Yes. Salute. Salute. All rise, all hands up. Salute. Salute to the Lord who reigns over us. Yes. Salute. Salute to the Lord who rules over us. Yes. Salute, Salute to the Lord. Yeah. Jesus the Christ. Yes. Salute. I serve a God who is Moses is God, so I'm using hip hop like his Moses is wrong. I know it's absurd, but but I come in the name of Jesus, the fulfillment of all of Moses' laws. This Jesus, the one the world must submit to. This Jesus, the one the world must bow unto. This Jesus, the one the world must come unto. Through him, eternal life is gotten. Simple, I heard he shall give dead men a life. Lazarus says he does bring dead men a life. I heard, I heard he does bring dead bones a life. I once was dead till he sure gave me a life. This God is Nigeria's hope. Nigeria's got to know who's Nigeria's God. While I write, while I sing my Nigeria song, I let you know who's Nigeria's God. Jesus Christ, all rise, all hands up. Salute. Who reigns over us? Yes. Salute. Who rules over us? Yes. Salute. Yes, Jesus the Christ. Yes. Salute. And all rise, all hands up. Salute. Who reigns over us? Yes. Salute. Who rules over us? Yes. Salute. Yeah, Jesus the Christ. One more Salute. time, say. All rise, all hands up. Salute. Who reigns over us? Yes. Yeah. Salute. Who rules over us? Yes. Yeah. Salute. Yes, Jesus the Christ. Yes. Yeah. Salute. And all rise, all hands up. Salute. Who reigns over us? Yes. Yeah. Salute. Who rules over us? Yes. Yeah. Salute. Jesus the Christ. Yo. Salute. Nigeria, there's no God beside yours. When He speaks, shh, no other side talks. Yeah. He's the way. There's no other side walks. We're walking through a suicide door. There's only one king. There's no other I know. Exalt him alone. No other idol. Be it American or West African idol. This is a warning. I warn thee warmly. The TV, some magazines, been a Nigeria's Bible. The media be killing us more than the rifles. The laborers are few, but the harvest is ripe. In the dark generation, I'ma let my light glow, glow, glow. I pray for my country. Yes, I pray for the streets and communities. Yes, I pray for the churches and the families. Yes, I pray for you. That and I pray for me. All rise, all hands up. Salute. Who rules over all? Yeah. Salute. Who rise over all? Yeah. Salute. Jesus the Christ. Yeah. Salute. All rise, all hands up. Salute. Who rise over all? Yeah. Salute. Who rules over all? Yeah. Salute. Jesus the Christ. Yeah. Salute. All rise, all hands up. Salute. Who rise over all? Yeah. Salute. Who rules over all? Yeah. Salute. Yes, Jesus the Christ. Yeah. Salute. All rise, all hands up. Salute. Who rise over us? Yeah. Salute. Who rules over us? Yeah. Salute. Yeah, yeah. Jesus the Christ. Yeah. Salute. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
can withstand it here only because you made and withstand it here only because you made and withstand it here only because you made Listen, listen. The song says, You move mountains. It is Apostle Paul writing in Romans chapter 15, verses 3 and 4. Paul says, The things that were written are four time. We are written for our learning, so that we, through the patience and the comfort of scriptures, might have hope. What Paul was saying is this every single word in scripture you see is replicable. If you see a barren woman receive child, it means that all through life, that particular incident is replicable. If you see a blind man whose eyes have been opened, it means that all through life, that is replicable. So during the resurrection period, when you see that mountain, that stone that covered the tomb of Jesus roll away, what that is showing you is that the same way Jesus was able to come out from the dead, is the same way you know Paul writes the writer of Hebrews says that he might be an example unto many other brethren in other words the things you see in the life of Jesus are applicable in your life and are replicable in your life so if the stone is rolled away and the tomb is now empty what that means is that whoever is called a Christian cannot remain in a tomb whatever the tomb is the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 if the same spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you that same spirit is able to quicken your mortal body so when you see Jesus come up from the dead sir it means that if for example a man is in, fin in a financial tomb that the same way Jesus rose from the dead and that stone was rolled away God is able to bring him out of that financial cemetery if a man is in is in an emotional tomb the same way that tomb was rolled away is the same way that that man by the power of the spirit is able to come up alive if a man is spiritually dead it is the same way that Christ comes to him and brings him out of that tomb that is why anytime God speaks no demon nowhere has the power to stop that word from happening who is lying to you that it is your aunt in the village that is stopping you from progressing who is lying to you that it is a something they plan at behind your house under a mango tree that is stopping you from progressing. Who is lying to you? That is your grandmother that tied your womb. That is why you've not been able to give birth. Because once the devil can suggest those lies to you and you accept it, it becomes a reality to you. Are you following me? What you accept is what becomes a reality. Haven't you seen the same room you've been going in and out every day on the day you watch a horror movie? When you walk, wake up at night, suddenly you begin to hear strange movements. The same room, the same bathroom. Now because an information has come into your heart, that information has altered how you perceive stuff. That is why the Bible tells us, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The believer must give his ear to what God has said. Not what Al Jazeera is saying. Not what CNN is saying. Not what the political policies are saying. Not what the House of Assembly is saying. Not what Punch or Vanga newspaper is saying. The believer must pay attention to what God is saying. There is no news on this earth anymore. It is not news that believers are killing Christians or unbelievers are killing Christians or believers. It is no news. From the Old Testament, you see it. Every time the hand of the cursed is upon the hand of the blessed. You saw it with Cain and Abel. Abel was the blessed one. Cain killed him. You saw it even with Isaac, um, uh, Isaac and Ishmael. Is Isaac was the blessed one. Ishmael kept on persecuting him. You saw it with Jacob and Esau. Jacob was the blessed one. Esau kept on persecuting him. You will see it with Phares and Zerah. It is all over scripture. The blessed one is always persecuted. So there's nothing new that is happening to you. That's why I said to you two days ago that the, the, the solution to the malady is not praying for those persecuting you to die. We must step out into radical evangelism. We must tell them that this person you are, you are, you are trying to persecute is the same man that will lay Saul on the road to Damascus and turned him back to the masses. The people we are praying for to die are people that are potent weapons in the hand of God. 
And I explained to you on, on Tuesday that if, for example, your friends are looking at you, somebody else is looking at you as an enemy and is praying for you to die, do you think you will have been alive? But Christians are taking the soft, they are soft pedaling. We don't want to go out into radical evangelism. And I told you two days ago that there's only way, only one way Christianity grows is by evangelism. And the more our churches remain for believers meetings and we don't step up for evangelism, we are going to keep being persecuted over and over and over. And the people that are supposed to come into the light, we will leave them to keep dwelling in darkness. And the more the devil has them at the, at the palms of his hands, he can wreck any havoc. The apostle Paul that wrote one third of the assuming the early church prayed for him to die. Where will we have found these epistles? The next person that is supposed to go to Iraq, go to Kuwait, go to those places and evangelize are the people you are holding night vigil for to die. Who is teaching us that doctrine of demons? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him, and when he says whoever, he's talking about all classes, all categories of people, whether you are a prostitute or a thief or a pope, whether you are rich or you are poor, illiterate, educated, whatever you are, Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist, Taoist, whatever you are, you fall in that category. I have been re-echoing it in your ear. God, God, God wants these unbelievers to come to light. And so we must begin to pray as a church that God should grant us the boldness. What we need, sir, is not opportunity to preach. I hear people say to me, please pray for me that I'll have doors of ministry. And when the people are saying that, I'm looking at them like banana. Because I'm thinking of from where will I peel you to eat? You're looking for opportunities? You have a roommate that is not born again. You have lecturers that are not born again. You have classmates that are not born again. The woman making your hair is not born again. The man cutting your hair is not born again. The person you buy tomatoes from is not born again. And you are looking for opportunities? I look through scripture. You will never see where Apostle Paul asks for opportunities. What he prayed for was pray for me that utterance, that boldness would be given unto me that I might boldly declare What we must pray for is boldness to declare this thing. That Jesus can bring them out of the tomb. Every tomb in their lives. Especially the spiritual tombs. He can bring them out of it. What we have now, pastor, are a bunch of criminals on the pulpit. Teaching people self-help techniques in the name of the gospel. And I told you what the gospel was on Tuesday. The gospel is a singular message. How that Christ died according to scriptures, was buried and was raised up again on the third day according to scriptures. And I said to you, whatever a man preaches outside these three things, he is preaching on his own. Anybody that understands business can teach you financial seminar. There are Muslims that don't believe in Jesus and they are living well with their wives. They can tell you how to live well with your wife. No believer is called to teach marriage seminar. I have seen people that have built ministries. They say, I am a marriage coach, pastor. And they call him pastor. And because the man can quote two or three verses, they now call him pastor. So we have motivational speakers now. We are calling them pastors. And we have turned social clubs and we call them churches. A man comes on the pulpit, he's telling you, you have to perspire to acquire to Maguire. And you think that is the gospel? I went through the Acts of the Apostles. The only thing they kept on preaching was Christ and Christ crucified. Paul says, I will amongst you that when I came, I knew nothing except Christ and Christ crucified. When he got to the Philippian church, he said to them that I may know him, the power of his resurrection, the fellowship of his suffering, being made conformable unto his death. That was the singular message in the man's mouth. And so now pastors are under pressure to perform, sir. Pastor, I'm 32, I don't have a husband. So the pastor is under pressure to provide a husband for you. And if he can't, he will tell you, I is somebody that is stopping you not to marry. So pastors can't teach you the gospel. They can't even tell you, come and serve in God. They will have to tell you, if you do this, then God will bless you. And we have rogues teaching people criminality. You go to your father's house. You, there is no salt. Do you have to wait for your father to tell you, I will bless you before you buy salt? Any responsible child of the house will buy salt if there's no salt in his father's house. Why do we wait till they, do you want the person to bless you first? So we are raising irresponsible men and we are teaching them how to do nonsensical things that the Bible has not taught. 
concepts that are not biblical, tapping the anointing, keying into the anointing. The first person that tapped into the anointing in the Bible was a sorcerer. I am not afraid of you. I will tell you the truth. That is not a biblical concept. That is nobody. Tell me anybody in the Bible, anywhere in the Bible, that tapping of anointing was taught. The person, Simon, the sorcerer, when he saw the apostles walk mightily in the power of God, he stood up and he went to them. He said, Peter, this thing, the way where they see people, they say, come on, make I give you small roger, make you summon me this power. Peter turned and he said to, to him, your money perish with you. Your heart is still in deeply seated in bitterness. The anointing doesn't grow by tapping. The anointing grows by staying with God's word. You must become responsible. Jesus is the only way. There is no other. There is no other. This inclusive gospel is not the biblical gospel. The man said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes unto the Father except. That word except is the problem. The word except is the problem. No man comes to the Father except through me. But Moazu is a good man, and so Jesus didn't die to make bad people good. I've said that often. Jesus Christ died to make dead people live. And tonight, we must remember that that power is delivered unto us to go out and tell people the true gospel. Are we together, ladies and gentlemen? We just came off the Easter, so I'm going to share a story for you. I thought how important it is. You can take your seat for a few minutes, please. I am on oath, pastor, never to teach anything outside Christ. I am on oath. I don't have business teaching you any other thing. And I'm qualified to teach many things. But the only thing I can teach you is Jesus. I know where he took me from. <laughs> and that's the only way out. Even when we deal with boys from the, from the jungles, we have seen people go to rehabs and they relapse. 95% or more of people that go to rehabs relapse. And that's why I tell people, what saves people, what takes people out of addiction is not sobriety, it's not being sober. What takes them out is a community. And once they have a community of believers, where the word of God is being pumped into them every day, you will see transformations happening. Mona Son Bishara Yanzu Nashagalini, ministry is by convenience. That's why we go for evangelism when we have time. When I have time, I will come. Christians are building Babylon. They are praying for Babylon to fall. Christians are literally building Babylon. And they are paying you money to build their systems. You are working eight hours a day for a government that does not believe in Jesus. And you are not telling them about Christ. And you work for 35 years. And they retire you or they retrench you before then. Then they bring in fresh blood to build up the world system again. And some of us, Babylon has silenced us with money. Sometimes when I look at my friends, say, well, I'm working with an NGO. What do you do in your NGO? And the person, all he's telling me is about how they are just, and I say, are you teaching people the gospel there? Are you looking for opportunities to tell them the gospel? Somebody wrote in Reader's Digest, everybody has a price at which he can be bought. And some foolish people will say, we don't have a price yet. So the man went on ahead to give a story. And he said the young girl was flying in a plane. And while she was flying, one man turned and looked at her. I mean, fine baby girl, carrot gifted nose, bambara nut eyes, fish pie lips, with her bones straight. And he looked at the girl and he said, will you consider spending a night with me if I give you $10 million? The girl said, hey, I have $10 million for one night. That's good. A few minutes into the flight, the man turned and he looked at her and he said, will you consider the same proposition? If I give you $10, the girl turned and looked at him and he said, what do you think I am? The man said, we have established that already. We are just haggling over the price. What that means, if the price is right, she will compromise. And the question you must ask yourself, what is your own price? There are people that were faithful in church. The moment they got a job that was paying them six digits, 
They tell you, Pastor, I'm too busy. The nature of my work. The nature of my work. I'm a full-time Christian. I'm part-time any other thing. Nonsense. What don't you think I can? There's nothing that I can't leave. How much will you pay me? How much will you pay me? We are playing into the hand of the devil. And we are comfortable doing that. Your, your Muslim friends, when it is 1 p.m., 12.30 on Friday, no bastard can stop them from praying. Sometimes we are driving, they stop at the center of the journey and they lay mat and they pray. But you are the one that thinks that you must be on duty on Sunday morning. If you are not on duty, who is going to cover your shift? No, it's money that is your problem. It's not service. We must change our appetites. People pray, Lord, bless me. And what they are calling bless me is money. When Jesus says you cannot serve God, it's money. So the person is praying, I'm praying for a breakthrough job. What is calling a breakthrough job, Pastor? It's not where he will serve. What is calling a breakthrough job is where he will be paid a lot of money. So he will not want to work as a teacher. If he gets a job in FIRS or an oil company, he comes and he gives testimony and says it's a breakthrough job. The ones that are coming and they are getting 15,000 salary in school, they don't give testimonies. They are still believing God for a new opening. Let me tell you why money is... Switch the salaries. Start paying FIRS 15K. Start paying teachers 400K. And see if applications will not go back to primary school. So it is not the job that is the problem. It is the money being paid. You cannot serve God and mammon. Awake, awake, oh ye that sleepest. I am coming to help you. Do a debriment on your appetite. What do you crave for? 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 What is your appetite? So bad, Christians are getting married based on is the girl going to be a liability or an asset? Christians! So, no, Uwaru Munta is asking the girl, Inaiki Aichi, that's the first thing. She's not asking if he's born again. Inaiki Aichi. He said, Adan never love his blind fire. So shine your eye, shine your eye. And then they start carrying scriptures to support their nonsense. You know, the Bible says wisdom is profitable to direct. 90% of the times they use that verse, they eisegete it. What is your appetite? What is your appetite? Your appetite must be Christ. Apostle Paul says that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death. Do you know that man read his resume for us? And Philip said, being circumcised on the eighth day. He said, when he came to being a Pharisee, I was a Pharisee of the Pharisees. I was from the tribe of Benjamin. As regarding the law, I was blameless. What I, I had dotted all my eyes, I have crossed all my teeth. In fact, he said, when it comes to the unwritten code, I surpassed every other Pharisee. You know what the man says next? But all these things have counted as dung. Why? For the excellency of the knowledge of Christ, that I may be found in him, not having my kind of righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is my faith in Christ Jesus, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. Our churches are filled with men telling you how you can make it, how you can make it. What is making it there? Buying a car? What is making it? Building a house? Didn't that guy in a bicycle with a ranch? That when I was a boy, sir. Let me, beside the POP, there's the other one. What's the other? PVC. There was a time if you had PVC, you had the baddest guy. Who is doing PVC now? Now people have moved to POP. There was a time if your paint was text coat, you had the baddest guy. My uncle had text coat in his house. So when I go, if my back is scratching me, I'll remove my shirt and lean on the wall and do like this. Now we have left text coat. I've come to screening. Who knows what will happen in the next three years? Maybe we'll have one pari pasu. I told you, there were girls, sir, that lost their virginity 15 years ago because of Blackberry. Now, one five, you will not buy Blackberry. One five, you will not buy Blackberry. 15 years ago, they just laid their lives for, for Blackberry phone. We are not teaching them eternal substances. That's why we have a weak generation of Christians. And then they will tell you, I prayed and God did not heal my mother. I will stop following God. Though. God, show yourself. Heal my mother so that you show them you have power. Let your mother die. You see if he doesn't have power. Go to heaven and meet him. 
Let them know you are God. If you don't heal my mother, Lord, heal my mother so that they will know you are God. If your mother, if she dies, you still go and know it's God. God is not under obligation to perform for you. There are people that are making God live for them. There are people that live for God. You are not created to make God live for you. You are created to live for God. We must teach this generation that thing. You're serving on your terms and conditions. What do you see when you close your eyes? What do you see? Listen. Yet the clink of the nails at the pierced his hand and the lash as the cross this man, the lash this man, heat and harass this man, bash thick and inflict mad, gash his hand, mentally put yourself at this place and time, use faith as a way just to trace the crime, let your mind take you back, laps the laps, backtrack till your mind sees back to back, all the things that happened to the silent lamb, all in chains, trapped like a violent man, like you forwarded a violent plan, it was prophecy that said God would be treated like unwanted property, you got to see the ill way that they flogged him, blood leaked, it was deep how they mopped him, thick thorns won't ask his crown, yet the Jews say crucify him, pass it down. And the steel and the squills comes crashing down. Can't get past the sound. Teeth are gnashing now. They snap, feel that hot flashing now. Draped in blood, covered in a cap and gown. So many cracks from the straps, numbs the back. Crucifixion makes your lungs collapse. Watch his chest, see him gasp for breath. Hear him, and, till there's no gas left. What do you see when you close your eyes? What do you see when your life goes by? Think hard, visualize the ill more, but that you feel God. Or your life is real hard. What do you see when you close your eyes? What do you see when your life goes by? Think hard. Visualize the ill more, but that you feel God. Concentrate. Your mind shall stay in the study mode. Take the bloody robe as you contemplate the bloody robe, which was worn by the worn, beaten and torn. Killed by the same doors people he formed. He emptied himself. Caused the wealth. Put in the use of independent attributes on the shelf. Love him and whoever loving him. But we're loving sin. Loving gin. Loving a night at the club again. I'm rubbing wrong men. But souls will die. If my rhyme doesn't come in and blow you high. I'm right in the sight of Jehovah's eyes. The gospel I'll tell till I'm old and dry. The world is cold like a frozen pie. With little sense like missing your ears, tongues, nose and eyes. But back to the ugliest thing you've ever heard of. The murder of the one who took my flag down. Roberta then came in droves the cast had his vein exposed played a game where they claimed his robe eyes swollen they even rearranged his nose only providence helped him sustain the blows yo seeing the one who owns it all the king getting beaten in a Roman hall headed for a Roman cross heaven was his home and all but he didn't give his home a call since they dislocated his bones and all still wouldn't wish for his opponent's fall ah Higher than thirsty too. Blood loss on the cross on his birthday suit. As he boops, through some attempts to breathe. I grieve. Tears toss my attempts to read. The sign lying over him. Limp and weak is Memphis bleak. How cold is ever meant to be? What do you see when you close your eyes? What do you see when your life goes by? Think hard. Visualize the ill mob. But that you feel God or your life is real hard. What do you see when you close your eyes? And what do you see when your life goes by? Think hard. Visualize the ill mob. But that you feel God. Yes, what do you see when you close your eyes? What do you see when your life goes by? Think hard, visualize the ill mob, but that you feel God or your life is real hard. What do you see when you close your eyes? And what do you see when your life goes by? Think hard, visualize the ill mob, but that you feel God. No time to blink, just continue to think of scripture. Let it convict you, focus, get in the picture. Watch it blow you, square off the rector. As it teaches you the life of Christ, the real victor who prevails. You hear the crucifixion details. Ask yourself why your life is still derailed. Why we fail to live for the one that we nail. The same Jesus. You know the one that we hail with our lips but not with our lives. Time to see with the heart and not with our eyes. So the son, the one who was hung like a poster, was buried but popped up like a toaster. Got all the host of heaven making a toaster. King of kings who bring God and men closer. Since rupture, put God out of the holster. Can't stay alive even with John Travolta. Now I hope to put you off the sofa Cut the CDs and pause the TVs The culture here yeah. We in the midst of a raging storm The rage is on Obituary page is long Life is short Casket sales are high No surprise that the number in the jails are high On the street anything you want they will supply That's where beer crack and weed sales are high Love songs keep making you wail and cry Number of pregnant single females is high Youths get high Till just to get by Doing street cutting a business with no suit and die Do or die Truth or lie, refuse to try. Yes, or trust the crucified. What do you see when you close your eyes? What do you see when your life goes by? What do you see when you close your eyes? 
What do you see when your life goes by? Sing hard. Visualize the ill mob whether you feel God. What do you see when you close your eyes? And what do you see when your life goes by? Sing hard. Visualize the ill mob whether you feel God. What do you see when you close your eyes? What do you see when your life goes by? Sing hard. Visualize the ill mob whether you feel God or your life is real hard. What do you see when you close your eyes? What do you see when your life goes by saying hard? But after three days, after three days, this Jesus is Lord of our life. Jesus is Lord of our deaths. I look into the heavens and the earth. I look into the heavens and the earth. I look into the heavens and the earth. We look into the heavens and the earth. Our oh, Jesus is Lord of our life. We say, 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 our oh, Jesus is Lord of our death. Yeah, we look into the heavens. We look into the heavens and the earth. Nobody compares. We look into the heavens and the earth. Yeah, we say that our oh, Jesus is Lord of our life. Our Jesus is Lord of our death. We look into the heavens. We look into the heavens and the earth. We look into the heavens and the earth. Lord of our life, sovereign savior. Lord of our death, conquering graveyards. I look into the heavens and the earth. So nobody compares and nobody compares to you. You're Lord of our life, yes, sovereign savior. You're Lord of our death, Jesus, conquering graveyard. I look into the heavens and the earth. Nobody compares, nobody compares to you. I'm back with the starting news, the starting clue. Yes, with the starring dude. Jesus Christ, the one hung by the barking Jews. The outcome to him the world should be dashing too. Between life and death is the bridge to be crossing through. See life from a godly view. The real king, yes. All them other kings be some masking dudes. Fake dudes from Pharaoh, Herod, and Matt and Lou. Without him the world is just another crashing school. He's got love for the crashing dude. So he comes to save this crashing school for everlasting doom. We sing the devil is the bastard as a dancing tune. Yo, I'm part of the dashing few who tap into. One more refreshing than your mountain dew. The one that left death asking the asking tomb asking who left without a trace and clue yeah the lord of my life yeah savior, lord of my death yeah baby, oh. i look into the heavens and the earth nobody, nobody compares. compares nobody, nobody compares, compares to you. yeah the lord of my life yeah sovereign savior lord of my death yeah conquering baby oh. i look into the heavens and the earth nobody compares nobody compares to you yeah the lord of my life yeah savior, lord of my death yeah I look into the heavens and the earth. Nobody compares, nobody compares to you. Yeah, the Lord of our life, yeah. Sovereign Savior. Lord of our death, yeah. Baby, oh. I look into the heavens and the earth. Nobody compares, nobody compares to ah. you. Sit back and sing hard and flip here about this God. This God, this guy, and this guy called Jesus. This God saved us when he crossed in like Jesus. Without him, you got no guarantee. Like a chip car, picture death coming close. Six packs and dreadlocks, but this God, three days, slips up, flips past. This has just got to brief you. It's break part, let me break that. Death came in, death never checked out. He put the stop to six moves like break parts. They give him a tomb, but the tomb and the beast is graveyard. See why every day we all got to rep this God. Every time we sin, we're just like trying the this God. The one before and after. Abraham and Jacob takes up a cross to make God and man to make up against whom every move you make is a setback. Let me break that dead plate cause Christ won't check up the Lord of my life. Yeah, yeah, the Lord of my death. Yeah, yeah, and look into the heavens and the earth. Nobody compares, nobody compares to you. Yeah, the Lord of my life. Yeah, the Lord of my death. Yeah, yeah, and look into the heavens and the earth. Nobody compares, nobody compares. Jesus, Jesus, the Lord of my life. Yeah. Shines every ice that could blink his eyes never blinks the fly is the king's the high as the beings drops a giant with the slightest the slings with the slightest the flings his angels gotta fly as the wings sweet seas with the slightest the breezes his rhyme never ceases his mic never ceases everlasting the king's show death plus Christ in the ring three days they be searching and stink second Corinthians 5 17 any man be in here
him is old and his past is extinct so who be the king who be doing his thing and loving you still and loving to steal you from sin and his thing so he died on the cross so you'll be crossing the sin of sin in the skin what I'm trying to mean if you believe in him you can make 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 my noise he's Lord of a life yeah Lord of a death yeah I look into the heavens and the earth
above every other name that at the name of Jesus every knee must bow and every tongue must confess of things in the heavens things on the earth and things beneath the earth that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father my brothers and sisters never stop declaring the name of Jesus in Gumbi never stop no matter the policies they are bringing up never stop declaring the name of Jesus at Every opportunity you have, declare his name as you are declaring his name, Reverend. One day, the walls of Jericho will come down crumbling. As a little boy, one day I sat down and I was taking a walk, sir, and I had a little clay, a lump of clay, and I took a little stick and I kept on just hitting that lump of clay. I kept on hitting it in one spot. It looked like nothing was happening. I kept on hitting it. After a few minutes, I noticed that there began to be a crack. I kept on hitting it, kept on hitting it. And listen, within a short time, the stick I was holding was very frail and weak. But as I kept on hitting it, at one given time, the lump of clay just broke open. Listen, as long as your mouth is shut, every other worldview will ride upon you. But the more you keep declaring the name of Jesus, sir, in the early church, they didn't stop them from performing miracles. They didn't stop them from doing anything. The only thing they told them not to do, don't go around preaching in that name of that guy. Because as long as the name of Jesus was preached, that city was going to turn upside down. Keep preaching, keep preaching, keep preaching, king, keep preaching. There's no part of the world that belongs to Islam or anybody. The earth is the Lord and his fullness thereof. The world and all that dwell upon it. Meduguri belongs to Jesus. Iraq belongs to Jesus. Kuwait belongs to Jesus. When we give the enemy a foothold, he takes the entire perimeter. Ephesus, the present Turkey, was the church that God talked about having forsaken their first love. But they are there. They forgot their first love, Pastor Deji. They were not declaring his name anymore. And so they allowed other people to come. That's why in the morning by 5 a.m., they stand up and they declare, Allahu Akbar! And we are all sleeping. That's when our blanket feels cozy and sweet. And while they are doing that, you must arise and say, Jesus is Lord! If you have a right to speak and I have a mouth, you can't stop me from speaking. When they keep pushing you to the wall and you keep backtracking, you keep backtracking. We are raising a generation, Mandosh. We are raising a generation of Christians that are so selfish. They don't even want to lay their lives for the cross. And as soon as Jesus say, every time they meet me, they say, you're a missionary. That's as much as they can say. That's as much as they can say. Tell them to come into the field. They'll say, ah, I want to buy Kira Mubani. Kira Mkune And I asked you yesterday, what is your excuse? Apostle Paul was a professor emeritus, yet he was a missionary. Peter was a fisherman, yet he was a missionary. What is your excuse? The ones that had accent were missionaries. The ones that were businessmen were missionaries. The ones that were civil servants were missionaries. Who are you? You must declare the name of Jesus. In your office, declare it. When you give birth to your children, declare it. They must get used to it. When you sit down in the parlor, just shout, Jesus! Say, Daddy, what's wrong? Nothing. I just want you to hear that name. They mustn't learn Jesus when they are afraid. They must learn it when they are sitting. No, they must learn it. When I get back home, the first thing I tell my son when he goes, Daddy, welcome. I say, the Lord bless you. If it's right, I say, no, say amen. That's the first thing you say you must learn to hear the word of the Lord. Sharpen their ears to hear. Sharpen the ears of your children. You are busy giving them Looney Tunes and Nickelodeon. And you think, I mean, sir, we have raised, we are raising a generation of brats. Your child cannot go to the school till you give him Bobo and Yo-Yo and something to eat. We are they giving you Bobo as a child? 
Now pastors are afraid to preach for one hour, sir. He said, can wazi one hour, can I do go wazi? Preach for 30 minutes. I like the church. They don't used to stay long. If you are honest with yourself, sir, was it 30 minutes preaching that built you to where you are? You sat down, listen to messages for six hours, but you are giving your own people 30 minutes. How do you expect them to grow? The greatest threat to Christianity is not Islam. The greatest threat to Christianity is not atheism. It's not militancy. It's not extremism. The greatest threat to Christianity are people that have no business standing in this group, standing to talk. Because when the people stand, the members are vulnerable. So I say, I Baba Yache, I Reverend Yache, I Pastor Yache. Because when you see a man coming with a kacha kacha shakabula, you are ready to fight. But when you see a man come with a white collar, like me, and he stands, and he's lifting up holy hands, you are opening your heart. The greatest threat to Christianity, madam, is not militants. The greatest threats are people that don't know Jesus standing here to preach. And they teach you every other thing. I will when I came amongst you that I knew nothing except Christ and Christ crucified. Samuel Zima, Moreno Zima said, the entire Arabian Peninsula can be totally captured for Christ in 30 years were it not for the selfishness of Christians. The entire Arabian Peninsula can be captured for Christ. John Piper says, all the resources the world needs to ev- all the resources the church needs to evangelize the whole world, they have it. But we rather use it to compete who is building the biggest church and who even has the biggest auditorium. Last year, the coronavirus showed people pepper. So, the one million sitter, who was sitting inside? We are losing our priorities. We are losing our priorities. And I'm glad I have a lot of pastors here. If they are going to leave, let them walk away. They went out of us because they are not of us. If they were of us, they would have remained. But if they went out, it might be made evident that they were not of us. Let them develop a spine. Sir, Apostle Paul preached all through the night. A young boy called Eutychus, sitting in the second story, fell down and bam, the boy died. Apostle Paul went down, gathered the boy's brain, went back up and continued preaching. He didn't say, oh, the meeting is too long. We should call the meeting to a close. So you come for Sunday service, by the time you get to 11, everybody is watching time. What beans do you want to go and cook at home that you have not eaten before? What rice do you want to go and cook that you have not eaten before? Rice that after three hours you go to the toilet? I tell my boss in the jungle, I don't owe you anything I give you. What I owe you is the word of God. That's why we put a lot of emphasis on that Bible, sir. That's why we put a lot of emphasis on it. We put a lot of emphasis on it. Whatever I give the reverend, that's okay. Say, unkudi ne that's okay. Say, every guy needs a yage. Amma unkaba shi maganer Allah. You can arrest me. You cannot arrest the meditations of my heart. You had the little boy that the father told him sit down. After a while, the boy only sat down, and he said to the father, Daddy, ena zaman ne fa adiki azuchi ana nati awa ne fa. I'm sitting, it's my body that is sitting. My mind is standing. They cannot arrest your meditations. When you are writing an official letter, include that clause. Paul finished his letter by saying, grace and peace. He started by saying, grace and peace will be multiplied unto you. I mean, other people write and they, they are greeting you. They are saying, you need to dress in kaftan first. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. And you don't think you should tell them, may the grace of the Lord be with you. You are the one that has to be diplomatically, politically correct. Who is teaching us that nonsense? If I will die, let me die with this word in my mouth. You cannot kill a dead man twice. Who the hell do you think you are? And when I face your gun, I won't tell God to stop the bullet from coming. Let the bullet come. You can only destroy this body 
but this spirit is on a one way trip I've told my girl when I die don't cry this body la carne sir 10 years ago now the six packs carry your vehicle in not the six packs in not sad singlet babes on a kalona so say yeah zoom shanko kakola the dairy in the team biscuit yes i listen i looked at my hair reverend and i saw gray hair and i realized i am aging one day this body will go it is not your world you can't stay here forever why don't we do things of eternal consequence? Why don't we do things of eternal consequence? I saw a testimony that is friend on WhatsApp. That one woman was there. People are posting in their WhatsApp that she said she entered an aeroplane. They gave her food to eat. I had to ask. I said, how can this even be given in a church? The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Where is Jesus in this whole thing? Any Muslim, Abu Bakr, can enter. If you enter first class, they will give you food. What is big deal there? And Christians are clapping that the woman entered plane and they gave her food. Christians are clapping. I am waiting to hear where Jesus came into the equation. And we are accommodating that nonsense. Let's give him time for testimony. I saw one on Twitter today. The boy got the GPA 4.9. And so they didn't give him masters, they gave him PhD. I said, so any Muslim that gets 4.49, they will still give him the same thing. So what's the big deal? What's the big deal? We are bringing God into petty things. A biblical testimony, Pastor, is when the word of God has worked in your life, what no other thing can do. You stand up and you say, I was an homosexual. There is nothing that can change that nonsense. But one day, I read in the scripture that my body belongs to the Lord. This body has been bought with a price. And I said homosexuality has no power. That is a biblical testimony. A biblical testimony has its roots in scripture. 90% of the things you stand on the pulpit to share are not testimonies. Tell them Jesus. Tell them Jesus. Tell them Jesus. You threaten me, I tell you Jesus. What do you think you are? Tell them Jesus. Put it on your t-shirt. You see what is written? I wanted to wear my kingdom advanced t-shirt. It was tight. Saved, not soft. A man, I'm hardcore. Don't mind the body, mind the engine. Man, we are hardcore. Man, we are hardcore. As brief. We've gone, sir. We sit down. So now, I'm going to go By the time, I'm going to go to the as a car, one and Gaskia's own honey. No, they know before they started smoking, they know you smoked. What do you want to tell me? What do you want to tell me? Mumada, we will not see the Kazana, the Gari, the Waki, Mumada, we will the Waki. Go make it, Mumada, the Yoko, make a chase. They can only see Nigger Don, Nigger Don. In Naka, the Munya, boom, as I enter the room. Then you have the girlfriend, Kana Louis. In IK, brief the guy who has not that one, don't cover the day in a bounce. In IK, Anna sat crisscross, cover blue, cover red, Kasa blue, Kasa red. In IK, elder. Tell them, Jesus. We tell them that Christ that changed our hearts has the power to change us. Don't tell them seven steps to eight steps to becoming emotionally balanced. I will keep him in perfect peace. Him whose mind is stayed on me. Tell him that is the remedy to his high BP. It's not a medicine. I will keep him in perfect peace. Him whose mind is stayed on me. Because he trusts in me. Teach him to keep his mind on God. Seven years. Twelve years. And your twelve year old boy does not know one verse. He knows all the cartoon characters. I want PJ Max. I want that one. He doesn't know one verse. A 12-year-old boy has already so the Quran to you. Your son knows nothing. Do you expect them to compete on the same level? You saw that boy two years, was it last year, January or two years ago, that shot that plateau boy on his way back to school? Robville somebody? You saw that boy? 12-year-old boy. I'll be eight-year-old boy. Eight-year-old boy. 
in 12 years time when the boy is 20 do you know how much blood will be in his hand how can he turn back from that life you have brainwashed him have spoken Allahu Akbar have spoken words and you, they keep your son in Sunday school you say he's too small he feel tired he will feel tired when I keep my son in Bible study he says come on will you sit up you want to sleep you are watching cartoon you don't come on sit up who do you think you are I'm afraid of you <laughs> sit up he said daddy I'm feeling sleepy because I'm not say kaji magana Allah inna shakaru shi mommy inna shakaru bakwe takwas inna bing wata karabari on the school so, 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 we don't have anything to brag about. Do you understand? I don't have anything to brag about. That's all I know. Jesus, Jesus, that's all I know. I don't have anything to brag about. Give them Jesus. This is the final session, all right? We don't do fusions and we go home. You must leave this place tonight with a resolve. That if any other person is yearning dust, you must yearn them the true gospel. If they will leave your church, let them leave. The Bible says one of the signs of the end times are is that they will develop each ears. Tell them what they want to hear. Don't call them homosexuals. Don't tell them homosexuality is a sin. Tell them you just have an emotional hormonal imbalance. Don't tell him he's a thief and thieves go to hell. Tell him he's a kleptomaniac or he's taking it without permission. Don't call him a fornicator. They are just making out, catching crews, catching fun. Don't call it those names. We are just feeling ourselves. As a little boy, you know, my father was the academics. So one time I wrote an exam, got a test. I got three over 30. I went and I carried blue bread by room. And I put two in front of the three so that it will look like 23 over 30. No, but peradventure I was able to deceive my father. However, in the master grading sheet, it's still what? Thank you very much. We can change the English here. In the master grading sheet, the name has not changed. What you are calling catching fun, if the Bible calls it sin, it is sin. Are you hearing me? The wages of sin, inflation does not affect it. It is the same thing. You must go out and tell the world. God is not changing his standard. Nearer my God to thee. Nearer to thee.
Ya Yesu gani nan gare ka an banda kai wa nake gare ni Ubangiji sai ka taimake ni ka tallafe ni ka raba ni da reni ai duniya ta cika da bola jarabobi asar ka a roka kaluba lai sun cika a loka jani Yesu ina kwafa sa a kofa Allah ta ba mu nasara a cikin jaraba har da ka falawa ka raba bola jaraba kamana magana kamana bayana jani Yesu kamar ewe duda amala dida kai waya da chaja ta ka raba ni da mugu da shasha sha ka jani ubangiji Allah na ka jani ubangiji Allah na
Chemo Christ. He is the healer that we know. Sports man, the more is sharper than a needle. Worse to the people, don't like a leak hole. Oh, me, I'm legal. Lyrics are legal. Feelings are legal. Look at my ego. No, I turn every four to amigo. That flow is basic. I'm a city like a me. No, no, I speak less. Less, I mean more. More. So on the ground like a seed sown. The bus never ends. Lyrics are inborn. The soul press, they come there like a stillborn. You in lyrics, this down purity. I'm Billy Jean. Plus Billy Graham. Coach of the champions like Zinedine. Hip hop has a